Uh, but you can, uh, you guys can definitely look at the drawing. Uh, you can look at what's going on with Gray's model. And there we see Max is getting into the fray here. He's got his first solid feature there uh, created. Now we're going to see how quickly he's able to add the remaining features to this thing. Max may be trying to catch up here with Gray. Hey, what's up, everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and in today's CAD vs. CAD tournament highlight, we're going to see an epic battle between two CAD experts. And if you enjoy this format of looking at a 2D drawing and trying to turn it into a 3D model, be sure to take a look at our website, TooTallToby.com. We've got over 200 of these 2D to 3D CAD challenges, many of them real-world parts, very similar to what you see our competitors doing in today's CAD vs. CAD highlight. So be sure to check Check out the website you can get started today and as always let me know down in the comments what you thought about today's model and what you thought about today's cad vs cad battle you guys visit tutaltoby.com or actually if you visit the discord uh there's a section in the discord called materials tools where we talk about the different materials we use and we've got libraries pre-cooked for free cad and for solidworks and for on shape and for fusion and for inventor we got libraries pre-cooked so you can just download the library so you don't have to recreate it although i think it is good exercise to try to recreate it all right, guys, that's it for the practice. We are officially ready to get started here. Now, the thing is, before we can uh, get our first challenge going on, we have to randomize this challenge. And we randomize this challenge using what's called the Wheel of Fate. And today, the Wheel of Fate is sponsored by our friends over at Plasticity. So if you want to visit Plasticity, they offer advanced and class A surfacing to sculpt beautiful production-ready geometry. But something that um, is often kind of underappreciated about Plasticity is that they also have best in class direct editing tools. So if you ever need to do any direct editing, any direct push pulling, things like that, you can do that with Plasticity as well. So be sure to visit them, Plasticity, Plasticity.xyz. And guys, I'm gonna shuffle this thing up. You can see we've got drawing number two, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. We've got a couple of inch parts in here. We got some sheet metal in here. We got some wood parts in here. So we got a lot of variety. Let me know in the chat if you think you can predict what number the wheel will choose for us for this first challenge. I'm gonna shuffle this thing up just a little bit. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee so you guys can all try to predict. And let's give this thing a spin. Here we go. Let's find out what the Wheel of Fate has in store for our runners on this very first challenge. So it looks like this first one is gonna be drawing number 10. Okay, this is good. This is a really good choice here. So drawing number 10 here for our runners to get things started. Thank you to the Wheel of Fate. Thank you to our Wheel of Fate sponsor, Plasticity. And as the production team is getting things ready for this, uh, let's learn a little bit about our runners. Gray is a freelance mechanical design engineer who enjoys riding motorcycles, climbing, snowboarding, and percussion. And this is his third TTT tournament. So good luck, Gray. Great to see you in here again. And Max is from Denmark. He didn't really submit any fun facts, but we had a Reddit commenter. Reddit, guys, this is probably the first time this has happened in history. A Reddit commenter said something nice. So the Reddit commenter said, cheering for Max, he won DM Danish championships in additive manufacturing and is extremely talented. So there you go, Max. You have a Reddit commenter who is saying nice things about you. And that is uh, a rarity, a true rarity. It's going to be a fun one. Make sure you take your time, look at the drawing, come up with a game plan, and then you're going to get into it. And that's the cool thing about this tournament is that our runners, they look at the drawing for the very first time, and then they come up, immediately come up with a game plan, take a screen capture, and start modeling. And it all happens so quickly. So with that, let's get into this first challenge. This first CAD vs. CAD battle today between Gray from Russia running SolidWorks, our number four seed and Max from Denmark running Fusion, our number 11 seed, begins in three, two, one, go! What is the mass of this part in XXX.X grams? You can see here there's some red notes in the upper left corner. Make sure you pay attention to those notes. 
There's an arc section and then there's a straight section. There's a planar face on this model. These guys don't even need time to look over this thing. They're already jumping into their CAD systems. We got Gray on the left using SolidWorks. We got Max on the right using Fusion. We see that it looks like Gray has decided to take a look at this thing. Uh, it looks like from the top view and has started creating that sketch of that kind of circular area that's sticking out the back. We see that Max here is taking an approach here from the... Ooh, this is interesting. Okay. I might have to hold off a little bit. I'm not actually sure which part of this model they're drawing. This is a little bit of a tricky model, guys. If you go back, if you're watching and you go back and look at the drawing, take a screen capture. You know, these drawings that go from one orientation to the other, sometimes they're a little bit tricky. Almost like it's twisting here 90 degrees. Some kind of a, you know, some type of a coupling that goes on the pole. Oh, I like this, what Gray is doing on the left here. So he got that circle in place. Now he's created that little straight section, adding in the angle for that straight section. And now he's gonna add this radius here. Now, as you can see, Gray has kind of a custom UI for his SolidWorks, not only with that blue background, but also his underdefined geometry. I believe he puts that in there in a, um, uh, puts that in there in a red color. So when you see red on Gray's screen, a lot of times you think that means something is, is out of line. Uh, and in, indeed it is, but I think it just means it's underdefined or under constrained. So you can see there, he's got that red geometry, unless that means it's fully defined, fully constrained. He's got that different color on his color scheme. Maybe that's his fully defined color. And wow, Gray was able to get that first feature extruded. And now it's almost like he decided to take the more difficult part of the model and address that first. And now he's gonna move on to the rest of the model, adding in that 25 millimeter wide kind of T section. Max on the right, you can see he's taking more of an approach where he's kind of laying everything out. And we've seen runners do this before. And even though it looks like Gray is moving ahead here, he's already got two features extruded. There's been plenty of times in the past where we've seen users kind of take their time, model out all the features in the first sketch, and then extrude everything in just a few clicks. And so it wouldn't surprise me if we see Max catch up here really quick. But Gray is, of course, our number four seed in this tournament. And uh, he is one of the fastest runners we're going to see in this tournament. And so it might be uh, a little bit difficult to catch up with it. it might be a little easier said than done to catch up with somebody who's got this this level of speed. It almost looks like Gray is coming down the home stretch here with this solid geometry. This is a, a tricky part. You can see here it's a cool example of going feature by feature by feature or laying out the whole thing in one shot. There we see Gray did his what we call the final spin. And now it looks like Gray is going to be entering an answer. We're watching the chat. Gray comes in with an answer. 107 grams. And that is not correct. That that is not correct. That 107, uh, 107 grams is not correct. We're looking for the answer in xxx.x grams. And Gray was a little bit out of tolerance or a lot of bit out of tolerance. I don't want to say if it's a little or a lot, but Gray was not within tolerance on that drawing. So now what Gray needs to do is he needs to go around and re-examine his model. He's going to be taking some dimensional checks here. But in this tournament, it's not enough to just be fast. You got to be fast and accurate. And that's how real life is. You know, you could be the fastest CAD designer out there, but if your models are not to the correct dimensions, you're going to be making scrap and that's not really going to help anybody. So you got to be fast, but you also got to be accurate. So gray here looking through this model, trying to figure out what's going on. What he's doing now is he's looking at the drawing and he's looking at the model, but this may open the door for Max who's still drawing up. He's still in that very first sketch, but like we mentioned earlier, he's really got a lot of information in that first sketch that could quickly be turned into a solid model. Uh, meanwhile, Gray is looking at the drawing, he's looking at his print, and he's going around and he's trying to figure out what's going on with this model and why it is different from the print. If you're watching the live stream, you could always roll back a few minutes and you could look at the drawing, you could maybe bring up a second window, or if you've got like a mobile phone, that's even better because it's got a different IP address, you could open up the drawing on your mobile phone um, and look at the drawing there while you're watching the live stream on your computer. Uh, but you can, uh, you guys can definitely look at the drawing. Uh, you can look at what's going on with Gray's model. And there we see Max is getting into the fray here. He's got his first solid feature there uh, created. Now we're going to see how quickly he's able to add the remaining features to this thing. Max may be trying to catch up here with Gray. Gray is trying to figure out what's going on with his model. And wow, 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 both of our runners, 
Oh, and there we see Gray is using a method that I like to call grabbing, grabbing an under underdefined point and moving it around. We saw him do that, and he may have uh, he may, that may have helped illuminate what's going on with this model, why it was out of spec. And we see that Max on the right is using Fusion to try to catch up to Gray on this model. This is kind of a cool model to get things started. Definitely one of the more tricky models in the batch today, but they're all kind of similar, similar difficulty here. Tier three. This one's maybe a little between tier three and tier four. And uh, the chat is saying, the chat here is saying that they they are noticing maybe what is wrong with uh, with with uh, Gray's model, and they're trying to figure out if they're and Gray coming in with his second answer one zero four dot six. Eight or dot seven, then that is not correct. I'm sorry, Gray, but that is not correct. So, guys, now we have seen Gray answer once. We've seen Gray answer twice, and both answers are incorrect. And so, what this means is that we are going to now turn to what's called the Clock of Doom. And Max now has five minutes to answer. He can answer twice, so he can still answer incorrectly one time if he wants. Um, and then, uh, and Max now has five minutes to try to solve this model to come up with the correct. And everybody in the chat loves the Clock of Doom. Yeah, we all love the Clock of Doom. Uh, but Max now, Max now coming in with an answer. One, zero, five, dot seven grams. And that is correct. And congratulations to Max. That is correct. I had one, zero, five, dot eight, plus or minus zero point one, one, zero, five, dot seven. That is correct. And Max earns the first point. Fusion verse SolidWorks. Good job, Max. Congratulations. Wow, wow, wow. GG. And what a cool match to get things started. A little bit of an upset there. We saw our number one, our number one, uh, uh, sorry, no, excuse me, our number four. We saw Gray, our number four, going up against Max, our number 11 seed. A little bit of an upset there for that first point. So, guys, put a GG in the chat for Max. Of course, you have to win two points in order to move on. And of course, I want to say thank you so much to our prize sponsor, Prusa. First place, second place, third place, and fourth place in this tournament are going to win a brand new 3D printer. So congratulations, good luck, and GG to our winner. Guys, put a GG in the chat. But now we're going to move on to our second battle between these two titans. And we're going to see what the Wheel of Fate has in store.